Hello and welcome to a new video for the one month game dev challenge. Today it's a quick one and today I'm going to show you how I integrated the multiplayer into my game. Okay, it still has a few problems and the system is still in its infancy, but I still think it's exciting for you. Especially because it was super quick to implement. First, I imported three packages. I'll link them for you in the video description. By the way, I followed Taro Dev's tutorial. Feel free to check him out. I've linked this channel in the description. Super great guy. I then created a network manager that automatically adds a player prefab to the client when it started. I added a network object component directly to the player prefab so that the rotation and position can be transmitted over the network. With one of the three packages, called Parallel Sync, I opened a second Unity instance so that I can simulate multiplayer clients. As you can see, I still have problems with the camera from time to time. Apparently the center of the game host screen is not always in the correct center. So my host player will never shoot in the correct direction and I have to dig around and see what's the problem of that. I then made sure that all scripts that a player can control are disabled as soon as the client is not the owner of that object. This happens in the onNetwork spawn function. This is super important because otherwise I could control other players or own other weapons and do other things which spoil the fun of the game somewhat. The play is basically finished with that and of course there's still a lot of things to do um, like inventory management and especially animations that are sent over the network but it's great for the base and especially since we've scheduled the whole project for a single month. And after that I took care of objects that are also present in the game world. I'm talking about things like trees or bullets or bullet trails or particles that are spawned when a certain action has been performed. And all these objects have been given a network object component and have been packed into a server RPC function. This means that only the server can perform this action and can instantiate them. And that's basically how I added the multiplayer mode. In the current state of my little battle royale game, sweet, short and yeah, <laughs> I love it. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you don't want to miss any updates on this challenge, then please hit the subscribe button. And yeah, we will see us next time. Thank you.